What's up, guys? Steven Ducks here. Uh, today I wanna talk about my monthly uh, performance, and I think all the number plus together uh, equals around one hundred forty thousand dollars. And uh, I think I did pretty good this month. I focused on the right plays, and uh, I minimized my losses every single time. My loss goes over five thousand. I will automatically stop trading and uh, wait until next day. So. If you treat your trading as your career and focus on the long term, because there's opportunities every day, and the penny stocks are really hot for the recent couple of weeks. There's gappers every single day. There's uh, tickers trading a hundred million uh, shares on um, current day, and there's multiple tickers trading over a hundred million shares. So there's a lot of opportunities out there, and the key is to how to catch it and wait until the right opportunity to go in so um, my basic thoughts on this month is cutting my losses focus on two or three plays and uh, uh, keep your losses really small so as you can see my gains are not as impressive as last couple of months uh, but the losses are minimized uh, and you can see that there's only four losses or there's actually five losses on the day so and I kept almost all days are green and uh, always keep your head fresh and treat trading as your career um, so if you thinking that you're not focused on the right play it's the place making you emotional and you're going into midday trading and that's terrible because when you are when you get emotional it's just cause a chain reaction for you to lose and lose and keep losing more so you want to cut that and keep your fresh head and keep that green keep uh, going and today uh, I want to kind of talk about uh, my two plays that happens today uh, each of the ticker I made a decent play on it so uh, Let's talk about uh, NAKD and NDM. So NDM traded about uh, 40 million shares last uh, yesterday, and uh, you can see a clear momentum shift right here. It, it cracked from uh, three to 288, and it consolidated uh, in the three dollar ish. So the most shares are traded up right here, and in the morning. So people who bought in the midday or people who shorted in the midday, whatever shares are traded, you know that 90% shares are long, 10% shares are short. Uh, that's just the general number. So most people holding around right here, once the momentum starts shifting, and it's also trading massive volume, it's really hard to come back because up here there's just, there's just too much, uh, too many back orders. So I took a, a little swim positions right here and uh, it is a perfect overstanding gap down uh, and I sized it incorrectly and uh, it turns out I covered in the lows in the 230s I didn't even I didn't bottom take it uh, I didn't even top take it but I cut the most piece of it and uh, plus on a KD uh, I made about twenty three thousand dollars today so when people cannot short and if you have a small account, I don't think uh, you have the right broker. There's brokers out there that you can find shares to short and uh, all the plays I called in the chat room and I don't buy low flow stocks. I don't sell when my uh, chat room members are buying. <laughs> so I don't take chat room members money and the key for them is to learn to learn how the market works, to learn people's psychology. I think in penny stock sector, psychology is the most important. You have to understand where the short is, where the long is, and you have to be also understand um, how does extreme low flow works. And if it, the flow is extreme, there's not many people trading, and small amount of people can make a huge uh, uh, price jump. So I avoid trading low flow. I don't pump low flow stocks, uh, just to be clear. <laughs> and uh, I only trade, uh, I only even alert uh, flow uh, 
any tickers that flow is over 20 million. So the key is for you to learn to focus on the right play and when you are focused on too many plays and you want to make money right away it's just not gonna work because nothing comes really quickly and it even takes me two years to really really get the hang of it how does this how, how do you uh, let me think how do you trade tr trading career for a long term because when you are trading your long term you want to minimize your risk as much as possible you want to stay stress free and when I when I see people shorting uh, GLMD just look at this alright it's a 300% gapper so people are shorting blindly without any resistance now when you are shorting this high volatility stocks right so when they drop they drop really quick and when they come back they come back really quick so sometimes when you don't have a risk level, when the stock spike too quick, and just blow up your resistance, and you don't have any risk to uh, any risk level to risk, that would be a disaster. So that will make you emotional. And what happens? The stock just busts that twenty-seven dollar and goes to forty, fifty. In a matter of a couple minutes, you don't have time to react because you are not confident. And when you are confident, you know where to cut. You don't. You know where to cover. You know exactly what your plan is. But when you're shooting without a resistance, you don't know where to cut. You don't have exactly to uh, take a profit because on the chart, if you took a, a four-year uh, chart, there's just no uh, support whatsoever, and just gapped up huge out of nowhere. And where are you gonna find your support? Where are you gonna find your resistance? No. So just let the chart develop and let the chart form support, let the chart form resistance. Then you go in, you know where to risk with, you have confidence. Confidence is really important in trading because when you don't have confidence, and that will make you emotional. And emotional trades coming in, you take a loss and you get emotional again, you want to make that money back, you take another loss and just chain reaction and you will lose your monthly gains, your yearly gains sometimes. So that's why just let the chart f form whatever it needs to be formed. And you go in and make your that little bit of range that you can predict. Uh, same thing with BLNK. Uh, I think most people hammer in the first green day and people losing 70,000, 100,000, 200,000. I think it was a, a disaster on Twitter. Same thing with GOMD. Now, what happens is first green day goes to 50. Now, what are you going to do? Uh, are you going to short that 50? Because the stock went up too high. There's never gap up too high. There's never uh, dropped up too much. You have to focus resistance, support, volume, and uh, figure it out what point is short advantaged, what point is long advantaged. Um, so keep that in mind and if you are too don't know what to trade just find one pattern right find that one pattern that happens a lot you see a lot in the market right so you track them you track them every single time when it happens now you separate criteria use uh, I split low flow, mid cap and large cap, right? So small cap, mid cap and large cap into three sections and you track patterns of each sections. Uh, once you track now enough, there's a average winning percentage out there. Uh, so you can use the average winning percentage. Let's say if a pattern winning percentage is over 70%, good, right? Uh, seven out of 10 times, I'm winning. So when you see what kind of, uh, sometimes criteria are different. Now what, hap what happens when criteria happens and the stock drops harder? Now when stock drops harder, what well, I'm gonna react, I'm gonna size in bigger to maximum profit. Now what happens if criteria doesn't happen? I'm gonna minimize my position to size in smaller. So minimize your risk and maximum your profit is the key to win in the stock market. And uh, 
I don't think money doesn't really matter when you making money in the stock market. Yes, it doesn't matter, but focus on the winning person on the pattern matters more because、uh, when you see on the numbers, right? When you see on the money you are making, then you just want to make more money, and your ego gets bigger, and then your、uh, you just want to increase your risk. That's where you starting start losing. So that's why I say money doesn't matter. Pattern matters more、uh, because pattern ma- ma- pattern max- matters more. Sorry about that.、Uh, in the long run. So thank you very much. I hope this video doesn't make sense. And uh, uh, for tier two people, I see you are a lot、uh, very excited. And I do show a database out of my eight patterns. Now the best pattern that works is bounce short, gap up short, or、um, I think it's overextend gap down. So choose one of the patterns you want to focus on. Focus on that. Grow your account. Once your account gets bigger, testing multiple strategies and expand、uh, your pattern. Expand、uh, your strategies. Then you will make more money. So that will be it for today. Thank you very much, and you guys have a great day.